All right. I thought I'd do a quick video. I'm not even going to say that anymore. I wanted to do a video about the sat nav in the uh, Lumia 920. Now, this might not be uploaded because I had to it's really struggle to get the camera in the back of the car. It's really odd how it's put together now. Don't know if you can see it over me because I can't see through the back of it because I'm not using the DSLR. But I'll make this video and potentially waste my time. So let's go. So what I wanted to do, <clears throat> I hope you can see that, but um, I wanted to go to the um, sat nav and turn off data. So first of all, let me go into my settings, wherever they are, and find aeroplane mode. Uh, you stupid boy. So there you go, flight mode. On. So that means I've got a little aeroplane in the corner. I should have no data at all. So, let's go to the drive, beta, drive beta, looking for GPS. Ah, so there we go, yep, that's one benefit that you don't get with the Google Maps. Here I am, Park Road. Well, that's, I know where I am there, obviously, that's a memo. So, let's see if we can navigate to somewhere. So, set destination. Search. Right, so. I've tried to uh, search for Lancaster Leisure Park and it's saying, sorry, can't reach the network. Check connection or search offline. Oh, there we go. That's where it is as well. So, hit drive to. Booyah. Oh, excellent stuff. Now, let's see if the, uh, if the camera can uh, cope with this. Buckle up, kids. Hopefully, you can feel the throb of my 900cc. Uh, Manly Toyota Igo. Right now, it's not really telling me which way to go, but I'm going to guess and go this way. It's getting the speed from the uh, satellites, obviously. Not a great deal of movement. Oh no, it's moving, it's just going. It's alright. Set on about 12 in the volume out of that goes up to 30, so and it's loud enough when it gives me an option. <laughs> going to see signposts to it but when I was navigating to like my folks house or my mate's house to test it it seems to drop you or it'll say you've reached the destination way before you have now that might not seem like a long time to you but trust me when you're in somewhere like Manchester or London and you're panicking and you haven't got a clue where you are it's enough to set you it's enough to set me panicking so uh, So yeah, I, it's a, it's something I've noticed, and I've tested it a couple of times to try and try and be fair with it. But it, it does, it keeps doing it. It's uh, even if you put the exact postcode in. Now with this one, we didn't actually put the uh, exact postcode in. Admittedly, we just typed in the name of an area, which should be even more accurate because obviously postcodes can cover specific areas. Oh, you know, well, a couple of streets, can't it? Whereas Lancaster Leisure Park is Lancaster Leisure Park. But yeah, I've noticed it just it just seems to fall short, it drops you too early on when compared to 
Google Maps, Google navigation. Not that I'm saying it's better, because obviously the offline support is really, really good on this. Unlike my driving, <laughs> clearly. But uh, yeah, um, it's nice that it'll let you search offline. It's clear, it's loud, obviously you can make it go louder. It updates fast enough. You can pinch zoom in and out as you're going along with it. I have got it in flight mode at the moment. Oof. But if I didn't have it in flight mode, one of the things that annoys me, say if I just had it on the, um, you know, it was using data as well or whatever, you get text messages or anything coming through. You hear the noise, you hear the, the text thing, but you don't, you can't just, again, you can't get to them without sort of quitting out. And if you hit back, you have to go to, I mean, not that you should obviously be reading messages whilst you're driving, and then you want to get back to it again. Uh, does this weird resuming thing. Oh no, that wasn't too bad actually. That wasn't too bad in fairness. Was not too bad. Feel the power. Feel the power. So yeah, I really hope you can hear me and you can see the screen because uh, I've got a sneaky feeling all this may have been a waste of time. But it's a very brief review of the SAPNAV and despite whether you can see it or not, trust me, the offline side of it works well. If you're going to rely on your phone SAPNAV for your maps and navigation, just bear in mind that I've run it about four times now to completely different places with exact postcodes and exact locations and it throws you a good few streets away and like I said before I'm repeating myself but if you're in a city centre it's enough to make you think ah where the heck is the place I need to be if you don't swear and you use words like that anyway I'm gonna leave it there and uh, go in and see if this video is worth doing or deleting so uh, if you can see this I've uploaded it so take care now bye bye then. Thank you.